In this video, I'll show you how to work with audio tracks in a timeline. This is how Venue Magic comes up for the first time with a new project and timeline. Here you have a timeline with two tracks, one audio and one control track. This is the project window. Let's open the audio folder in the project window and find some music. Now I'll drag the music onto the audio track in the timeline. Ignore the window that just popped up. We'll explain more about that later on. Click and drag on the clip to move it around the timeline. While you're dragging, the clip time display will show you the clip's start time. Click here to expand the track to see the graphic image of the audio file. This button zooms in on the timeline. You can scroll the timeline to see the entire clip, or you can select the clip. Then click here to resize the timeline to show the entire clip. In fact, all of these buttons are for resizing the timeline. Feel free to try them out. To play the clip, click on the rewind button, and then click play to run the timeline. Click the stop button to stop playback. I personally like to use the space bar to stop and start. If you want to start playing in the middle of the clip somewhere, drag the time cursor to where you want to start. Notice that the time cursor position display will show you what time the cursor is at. Now click the play button or hit the space bar. While playing the timeline, use these buttons to speed through the timeline, either forwards or backwards. Double click on the clip to bring up the audio clip properties window. I'm not going to take the time to cover any of these settings in this video. If you want to learn more, just select one of the tabs and then click help. Or you can press the F1 key on your keyboard. This will apply to any window or screen in Venue Magic. You can always hit F1 to get more detail on whatever window is open. You can size the clip by clicking and dragging from either end of the clip. While you're sizing, the clip time display shows the current length of the clip. Sizing the clips lets you cut off part of the audio from the beginning or end. You can also split a clip. Drag the cursor to the splitting location, then right-click on the clip and select Split Clips at Cursor. You can also push the Split Clip at Time Cursor button. Now you've split the audio clip into two separate clips. You can put multiple layers of audio into a timeline by adding more audio tracks. Go to Insert, Audio Track, then drag over clips to your new track. Now play back the timeline and you can hear that the two tracks are mixed together. Now you'll want to save your work. Do this by selecting File, Save All. The first time you do this for a project, Venue Magic will ask you to enter a name for the timeline and for the project. You can see that Venue Magic has already chosen default names for you. I strongly recommend that you enter in a new name rather than accept the default name. It will prevent a lot of confusion later on. Once you've given these files a name, Save All will not ask you for the names again. I also recommend that you save your files often. Whenever I'm on the computer doing anything from writing a Word document, programming Venue Magic, to creating a tutorial, I always save my work regularly. You never know what could happen, and I don't want to lose an hour's worth of hard work in an instant. So don't forget to save your work as you go.